source is the atom plus ion. Uh, many of you know about the ion. We believe that every computer in the world should have the opportunity to be delightful and amazing to consumers. And so we created a GPU explicitly, specifically, for the world's smallest CPU. Now the Atom CPU is a wonderful achievement. Wonderful technology, incredibly small, but yet still incredibly powerful. So one Atom CPU with one CPU core and the Ion GPU with 16 CUDA parallel processing cores, 16 parallel processing cores. I'm comparing it to another, another platform uh, called CULV, which is just announced. Uh, one architecture is CPU plus GPU co-processing, and the other one is CPU with an integrated graphics controller. Both systems cost about the same. Atom plus Ion is about $75. The CLV is a bit more than $100. And when you compare its benefits, if you compare its performance, it's truly staggering. For 3D processing, of course, you would expect the Atom plus Ion, which is a, more, a, a less expensive platform on the one hand, but yet delivers over five times more performance, about five times the performance in 3D processing. One can do Blu-ray full, full spec, the other one cannot. Blu-ray, as you know, is a full HD, and the bit rates are extremely high, and that's how it achieved the fidelity that it achieves. Uh, video transfer, video transfer, we're going to demonstrate that to you in just a moment, is taking video on your PC and converting it for your iPod or your personal, uh, your uh, uh, Sony PSP or um, your phone. Okay? So video transfer. A 720p video, basically your television show in HD, about an hour's worth of that television show will take you about half an hour to convert using a CPU, GPU, co-processing architecture. And yet it will take three hours for that hour movie, our te television show. So you can imagine for a two hour movie, it would take six hours, an excruciatingly long time. Using video trans, using uh, the par parallel processing capability, of a CPU, GPU, co-processing architecture, you can do it literally in half the time. And yet, in both cases, the power consumed is the same. Comparing your, your average eight atom plus ion platform with this extremely low voltage, special low power architecture, the power is the same, and yet, we're delivering much more performance. So how is it possible that it could be five times better, lower in price, lower price and also the same power? Well, the answer is absolutely clear. Doing the right job with the right processor is the most efficient approach. If you had a parallel processing application, do it on the parallel processor. When you have a sequential serial processing application, you can throttle back the parallel processor and run that application on the serial or sequential processor. And so doing the right job with the right processor obviously delivers a more efficient result. By the power of the GPU, to be able to easily move video and portable devices, such as uh, music players or cameras, other devices that you have. So what we're looking at on video, you want to go ahead and run this? Well, let's we'll let, me, let me show you a little bit of what we're going to show here. We've got two PCs set up. One is the Acer Spire Revo with the uh, Ion uh, processor. The other is a uh, Atom-based PC with the uh, Intel uh, Atom chipset. And uh, what we're going to do is show how built into the operating system is the ability to be able to do this live conversion. That's right. So here what we'll do is we will click and drag the video clip. We'll put it on the device, which you can see now is part of device stage, which is a feature we built in Win 7. And this will make it seamless and transparent for customers. They will be able to see the device and see a mock-up of it. 
they can drag and get into that very easily. So this is the, the device that uh, that Murray's talking about is is right here, the portable media player that's showing up just automatically on the uh, on the operating system. Is we've got one plugged into each one of the the two PCs. So here's the uh, uh, portable media player, and the and the piece that we're going to um, transfer is a high definition uh, video uh, clip from the um, from the movie Star Trek. All right, so I'm going to play it real quick for you guys, just so you, that you know what the clip is. So this is a the Star Trek trailer, and uh, for those of you that haven't seen the Star Trek movie, I absolutely recommend you go see it. It's it's fantastic. This particular clip is a 1080p. Oh, I'm sorry. This particular clip is a 720p clip, um, and uh, 720p. It, yeah, 720p clip, and what we're going to do, you can play it back on the on the ion PC, of course, just fine. I'm going to stop it here. We're going to take this clip. It's two minutes long. We're going to take it, and we're just going to drag it right over on top of the uh, portable media player, right? And we let go, and up pops a, uh, a a little thing that says, "Let's convert and start," and we'll time it. So we're going to keep track of which one of these two PCs is able to convert the, uh, uh, the file faster. We have the ion system here. We have the uh, atom system here, right? Now this is something that's built into this the built in the functionality of Windows 7, and this is part of being able to have a seamless experience for our consumers across devices. So the Windows platform extends to the breadth of devices, whether it's photo frames, music players, and we want to be able to deliver this in a fast, easy, efficient way for our customers. Now this is now, now this is one of the goals of Windows, right? As I understand it, you guys have built into the Windows operating system the ability to be able to just treat media as as a as a as a really easily moved around piece of content, you know, share it easily, uh, take it with you easily. Right. All that is native to the OS. That's right. Here we want it to be conveniently uh, capable across devices, and we want that to be a very simple, intuitive experience for our customers. Right. So this is running on the, this, this particular demonstration right here is running on the, the, the current release version of, uh, of Windows, uh, Windows 7. Um, and it's doing this conversion, and while it's doing this conversion, one thing I want to point out, this is still not the final release of, of Windows 7, so the, the, the timer bar that you're seeing does not quite represent what the, uh, uh, what the time is. Um, I think that, that, there we go. Oops. There we go. Oh, you're good, you're good. So we're converting it, and as in, I think that this one stopped, this one finished. That one's finished, that's through. So that one finished in about roughly a minute and a half or something like that. I think I actually finished faster than I thought it was going to be. The CPU is still trudging along. Now, I happen to know that the CPU will take roughly about five times longer than right. the GPU do this conversion. So maybe we should just kill that. Okay. We oh, might be here all night. We have a measurable uh, improvement in performance. And what we've noticed here is that this is moving so fast in the transcode, it's actually moving faster than the ability of the CPU to recalculate the time it will take. So while it's finishing and the timer is going, the forecast from the dialog box is still indicating that it'll be more time. Right. Right. So this one's still a uh, huge performance improvement. Here's the, here's the portable media player now with that converted file that I was talking about, that exact same um, uh, piece of content. Right, the, the Star Trek trailer. I can take it with me. So it was converted from high definition into lower resolution and placed on this device in less time it actually took than to play the, the, the piece of content itself. Right? Okay? Moving around.